Hi friends, Radhika Vikuma here. So today we will see the remaining types of joints. So in the last tutorial we have already seen uh, what is joints, why we use joint and the inner joint. We have already explained what is inner joint and how we use it and all. Uh, so today we will see what is outer joint and uh, the different types of outer joint that is present. Like the left outer joint, right outer joint and full outer joint. We will see one by one. So we are going to make use of this employee detail table and department detail table. So I will first write the query for left outer join. I am going to say select star from. I am going to use the uh, employee detail table and I am going to say left outer join with department detail table right on and I am going to give condition as this employee um, detail tables employee id should be equal to department detail tables employee id so in the previous tutorial we have already seen how we will write query for the inner um, join so you can see that instead of this left outer join we wrote it as um, inner join right so just take that inner join out and write it as left outer join that's the only difference the condition will be the same i'm comparing it with the employee id because this is the common uh, columns between these two tables so let me execute this and you can see the output here you can see all the columns that are present in the left um, table is uh, displayed um, so what happens here is um, all the rows that matches with each other is uh, displayed first and then the column uh, sorry the row which is uh, doesn't match with the right table also get displayed here in the left outer join you can see all the rows in this um, employee table is displayed even though when this 105 doesn't match with the uh, right table that is department table then also this 105 is uh, row is getting displayed that is why we call it as left outer join that is all the rows that is present in this left table that is employee detail table gets displayed okay so coming to this um, right outer join it's uh, nothing but same the query is going to be same instead of left i'm going to say right and then on and the same condition that i'm going to compare it with the employee id so you can see that um, in the previous example 105 was getting uh, displayed right it was getting displayed whereas here now it's not getting displayed because they are saying right outer join that is uh, all the right um, row uh, right tables rows gets displayed uh, the first of all the matching ones get displayed then the rows even though the right table rows even though if it doesn't match with the left one then then also this right rows will get displayed so finally the thing is all the rows of the right table get displayed that is what is the right outer join hope you people have understood so coming to the full outer join we'll see how the full outer join gets um, displayed so here instead of uh, right or left i'm going to say full outer join on same condition okay so you can see all the rows the rows that are present in the left table and as well as the rows that is present in the right table everything get displayed the one with the matches everything get displayed this is what the full outer join is completely like the all the first the rows that is that matches that is uh, between the left and right that gets displayed and also which doesn't match this 105 doesn't match with this um, left table and then also the rows get displayed so this is called full outer join so for left all the left rows get displayed and the matching ones gets displayed for the right all the right rows gets displayed and the matching ones gets displayed for full outer join all the rows that matches get displayed with the non-matching one rows also gets displayed so these are the outer joins hope you people have understood if you have any query then please do um, you know put your comments you uh, know below this video so that i can answer for that and also uh, please do subscribe for my video and thank you for watching